Hi guys. So there are just two weeks left for NEET, and this is the time I need to make a perfect timetable to fit in the revision for all chapters. There are about 90 chapters, if I'm right, 11th and 12th, physics, chemistry, and bio. And if I try to fit in 12 to 13 hours of study every day until 13th, then I can definitely finish all these chapters with proper revision and do several papers. So just come along with me while I make my timetable and I'll keep telling you what factors I keep in mind when I make a timetable. First things first, I made up a good space to start working. Then I take up my books and it's important that you look at what all chapters you need to include in your timetable. After that, the first thing you have to do is plan out which chapters you need to do now and which chapters you need to do at the end. Because there are some chapters like P block, S block, etc. which do not stay in your mind for long. So I make sure I put inorganic chemistry and chapters such as biological classification, etc right at the end so that they're in my mind right before the exam too. So after I've planned out how my chapter schedule will look like, it's important that I also analyze how feasible and how easily can I do all of this. So if I'm taking a heavy chapter for bio, I make sure physics and chemistry are lighter. So similarly, if you're taking something really heavy for chemistry, make sure bio and physics are lighter so that you're not burdened and you don't feel like not studying. And when I say revision, I mean each chapter I'll be reading NCRT, I'll be going through the diagrams, I will also be reading extra notes, plus I will be looking at my mistakes notebook. So one thing I make sure I do is have a mistakes notebook. So whatever mistake you commit in some MCQs, write it down. So right before the exam, that is on 12th of September, I will go through my mistake notebook so that on 13th, if I get the same question, I don't make the same mistake again. And I have four days left and I know that I won't be able to stick to this timetable right as it is. So in those four days, I'll be covering the chapters which I missed out because I was lazy or something. I'll make sure it doesn't happen though. But anyways, those four days are for practicing papers and for doing missed out chapters. I will advise against making particular time slots for each chapter because then you'll be time bound. So instead just assign chapters for a particular day so that you can explore that chapter, look at your mistakes, do anything with it without being in the tension ki oh shit mera time ja hai. That's my timetable now. So if you want, you can take a screenshot if you understand my handwriting though. Also, some baby steps happening right here. Thank you so much for 500 subscribers. It's pretty small, I know, but yeah, small beginnings. Anyways, thank you for watching. I never knew this channel could actually blow up that much. But yeah, I promise I'll be a bit more consistent after my exam. So until then, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.